welcome to the ride. I understand you're handy with the slow motion control. I'm afraid that won't do you much good down on the floor you're headed to. How many of you are there? Three of you, or as we say in binary, one, one. How many questions would you like to play, seven or twenty-one? How many questions, please? Thirteen? Okay, great. Player one, may I have your name, please? Very good. Player two, please enter your name now. Okay, that's fine. Now, please show us how you spell your name, player three. How gracious of you. Thanks. Please notice the keys you will be using as buzzers. Have a great ride. I've really enjoyed our time together. Bye now. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. You don't know Jack is sponsored by the Backwards Christian Lyrics Coalition. You'll find a satanic reference in your children's music, whether it's there or not. Now, here's your host, Cookie! Okay, welcome! So, you'd let the kids watch the naughty cartoons, huh? Well, let's see how much we can slip past the sensors. Okay, first off, gotta give you your screws. Here's a bunch for all three of you. Now listen up, and I'm gonna tell you why I'm passing these out. The first time a question comes up that you think might be on the difficult side, buzz in immediately and start pounding on the S key. That's S for screws. You're gonna be shooting these puppies into the screen, totally annihilating the question and answers. Then you're gonna make your opponent answer the question whether they can read any of it or not. So if you're not the one pounding on the S key, you better be trying to read everything fast before it's gone. And that's Flackjack. <laughs> All right, practice saying the seven naughty words, and let's take on censorship. Player two, pick us a question value. I like to call this category... Censorship. More like censor shit. What do we got here? 3,200 and change? All right, let's do it. If today's censors had the same job duties as the first Roman censors, which of these would they be doing? Torturing the doors, photographing Robert Maplethorpe, sentencing the Smothers Brothers to prison, or counting copies of Hustler? Take a shot, player two. The Smothers Brothers? I think Mom always liked right answers better. <laughs> player one, player three, who's gonna grab it? Three, make it happen. Jenny Morrison, put that away or I'll have to take it away from you. <laughs> Player one, you can take it. All yours, Player. 41, 42, how does she do that? Uh, I mean, that, that, that's disgusting, don't look. The original censors took census, which means they counted things, and they took a break to read the articles. Player one, buzz it. God, you might as well play for lint. Well, uh, let's check out your category. Keep your censorship off my private parts. You know, political correctness has gotten way out of hand. There's even a human muscle named the PC muscle. If you're having problems with your PC muscle, what's the best PC term to use in describing it? The urinarily challenged muscle, the anally capable muscle, the mammarily fixated muscle, or the muscles from Brussels? Player two, who do you want to screw? Well, you got a one in four chance, player three, screw back. You picked one. Very interesting. Let's see. Urinarily challenged. Wow, looks like you're quite the cunning linguist. 
The PC muscle, or the pubococcygeal muscle, controls the flow of urine from the bladder and contributes to greater sexual pleasure in women, without offending anyone at all. Nice work, player two. You just screwed yourself. <laughs> it's up to you, player three. Hit your buzzer to select a value. Well, a good fart sound effect would be appropriate, but here's your category. Censorship and hardwood. You ready? Let's go. If you tie a blue ribbon around the old oak tree, what cause are you supporting? Freedom of religion, freedom of the press, freedom of expression online, or NAMBLA? Player one. Hey, you want fries with that crap burger? <laughs> player two, player three. Who player two, it's yours. The Blue Ribbon Campaign is for free speech online. You should consider publishing photos of your oak tree on your homepage, because none of the online freaks will ever go outside to see it. Player 2, what's this one going to be worth? Hit your buzzer and tell us. The category is... I'll wash your thesaurus out with soap. Here's the question. Which of these is not a dirty word? Slatternly, abluted, bedraggled, or squalid? Player one, who you want to screw? Okay, player two, you're screwed. You got four options here. Okay, you picked one. Now, a slattern is a woman who's a sleaze or a slob. So, I can do this uh. as often as I want. No one will call me slatternly. Uh -oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> player one, player three, do some. Player three, do it. A bluted means washed clean. So, it's not really dirty. Unless you say something is f***ing a bluted. Player three, select the bell. Splendid choice, Player 3. Player 1 and Player 2, move over. Player 3, you got a diss or dat. And this diss or dat question's category is... I see no evil, but I can smell it a mile away. Okay, I'm gonna list off seven people, and for each one, I want you to tell me if they're... Someone who sees no evil, someone who hears no evil, or someone who neither sees nor hears evil. As each one comes up, if it's someone who just sees no evil, press 1. If it's someone who just hears no evil, press 2. If it's both, press 3. If you're kind of clueless, hit 4. You're going to get some money for each right answer. And you're going to lose some for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. Okay, you got 30 seconds to nail all seven. And keep an eye on the wire. When it fills up, you're done. And here we go. Stevie Wonder sees no evil. Oedipus! Ray Charles! What did Von Beethoven? The Who's Six right. Not quite perfect, but you can't get any closer. Let's throw it into your score. Well, for now, you are the master player three. Don't let it slip away. Player one, hit your buzzer and select a vet. Your category is... Tipper, Gore. Get your buzzer finger ready. Here we go. Say Tipper Gore treats her husband Al to a $50 dinner. If Tipper Gore is a good tipper, what is the smallest amount she should leave as a tip? $5, $7.50, $8.75, or $10? Player two, grab... $7.50? Hmm. Yeah, that, that'd be the customary 15% tip. Which leaves her and Al just enough money to buy a few Two Live Crew albums to burn when they get home. Okay, player two, what's this one gonna be worth? Hey, you can live on that. Here's your category. I understand moral, but what's turpitude? You know that song by Ice-T called Cop... C hey, lady, you, you can't come in here. What are you doing? Hey... Don't put the... What, what are you... Ow! I'm covered in stickers. Here, look at this. Ow, my short hairs. 
parental advisory explicit lyrics. Who's going around slapping these stickers on everything? The FCC, the NRA, the PMRC, or the PCP? Player two, it's your... Good Tipper Gore and the Parents Music Resource Center campaign for the little warning labels on albums. And I have half a mind to take this sticker and shove it up the ass of those mother goody goody no good have nothing better to do head moral majority monkey suckers with a frozen boot. Now there's an explicit warning. Player two hip coming up. You have the right to remain silent and minty. Let's get going. What issue would Scope's monkey trial most likely involve? Slander of the healing power of mouthwash? Bootlegging, rinsing, and spitting? Immigrating bacteria that causes bad breath? Or the evolution of green coloring? <laughs> Player one, time to play monkey. So you want four. Okay. The original Scopes monkey trial took place when enlightened Tennesseans jailed biology teacher John Scopes for teaching evolution. Apparently creationists also believe that fresh breath is an act of God. Guess what, player three? You're the one who's screwed. This one's called... My fellow congressman, try the veal. Player three, you got a little minus in front of your score. Might want to work on that. Considering the specific issue to which congressional gag rules pertained, which of these gag artists' acts would be censored? Rip Taylor organizing a union, Henny Youngman petitioning against slavery, Milton Burrow lobbying for Medicare, or Red Skelton dodging the draft? Player three, do it. But seriously, folks, my union ensures I can take a coffee break after every joke. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> player one, player two, who's taking take a shot, player? It all started when a congressman from South Carolina stood up and proclaimed, Take his freedom, please. Until they were deemed unconstitutional, gag rules in the House of Representatives prevented members from considering anti-slavery petitions. Player two, buzz in. Could I interest you in some roadkill? Okay, let me explain how this game works. You're gonna see different pairs that are somehow related. And you're gonna see a series of items that may or may not connect the pair. Buzz in if you think an item correctly joins the pair. I give you a grand if you're correct, but do choose wisely. You lose a thousand every time you're wrong. We're gonna wrap it all up with a final bonus round worth some extra cash. Pay attention all the correct answers and you might have a shot at the bonus. You got that? Good, let's motor. NSA, in flanker plastic bag. What's the intersection between these two? Washington State, in flanky plank pecker. into diamonds and Plank Miner's daughter. Cars use it and beans cause it. Tampa NHL team and Go Grease Plank. Michigan City, and skin blank equals miser. To coordinate, and blank box cars. Score! Alright, let's nab that bonus. What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all? FCC 730 words! And WA album titles!
Player two, you got the lead. Okay, player three, hit your buzzer. Let's find out how much this one's gonna be worth. Here's your category. Comstocks and bondage. Let's see that question. If you don't put much stock in the Comstock law, what will you probably do? Stage pornographic performance art, take pornographic photos of yourself, publish pornographic photos on the internet, or mail porno mags to your buddies. All yours, player one. Well, you could do that if you didn't mind your local photo developer making extra copies for himself. <laughs> player two, player three, who's going for Player two, grab... Player three, player three, make it happen. I know, you only read them for the articles. Also known as the Federal Anti-Obscenity Act, the Comstock Law bans the mailing of indecent materials. You know, it was, uh, it was just too distracting for the postal carriers. Player three. Okay, give it up for... Low prices every day. And right this way, please. Where is Walmart headquartered? Murfreesboro, Tennessee, Troy, Michigan, Bentonville, Arkansas, or Shreveport, Louisiana? Take a shot, player two. Shreveport. Interesting, just not right. <laughs> player one, player one, hit it. Bentonville, Arkansas. Yep, that'd be Bentonville, all right. Right there in Arkansas. <laughs> Player one, it's up to you, Snap. <laughs> Welcome to the Jack Attack. I'm gonna be throwing a bunch of words up on the screen. Buzz in when you see two items on the screen that match. Each time you're right, you make money. Each time you're wrong, you lose it. Now here's the thing. Not any two items that go together are necessarily a match. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Sensory overload. And remember, the match has to fit the clue. All right, good luck. Let's see the final scores. Player three's got it!
Tonight, on Investigative Copy. Until recently, this sleepy Ohio town was primarily known as a test market for Olestra products. Now, religious fanatics are making a pilgrimage here to witness the miraculous weeping anus. I, I was just watching TV, and I felt a, a rumbling in my gut. I tried to make it to the toilet, but whoop, there it was. It's beautiful. I think it's a sign from God. There are no words to describe this man's wondrous anus, blessed by our Holy Savior. But is it really a sign from God? I've been here for three days, and the anus seems to weep at regular intervals, but they're almost too regular. I actually bottled some of the tears of the anus, and quite frankly, they have no healing properties. I'm, I'm just a guy who likes eating chips and, and watching TV. The Ohio Weeping Anus, God's miracle or Satan's curse? Tonight. How many times has this happened to you? Daddy, what's the difference between absolute and relative surplus value according to Marx? Uh, go play with this ball, honey. Middle class buffoon. Well, it won't happen again. Look what I have for you, sugar. The illustrated Das Kapital. Thanks, Daddy. You're welcome, sweetie. The brightly colored pictures help me understand the general law of capitalist accumulation. Uh -huh. And the pop-up stick figures tell me all about heterogeneous and serial manufacture. Yep. There's even a scratch and sniff chapter about machinery and modern industry. That's right, honey. Daddy, you're the greatest. Now, can you tell me how the expression of female sexuality can challenge the patriarchal order? <laughs> I love you, pumpkin. The Illustrated Das Kapital. Also available, the Gross Anatomy Book of Kano Dolls and the Kama Sutra playset. Next week on Hallie McNeil, Hallie opens up about her maternal instincts. Hallie, I had a really nice time tonight. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh, that's just the dancing embryo. He shows up whenever I feel my biological clock ticking. It looks like a sick tadpole. I know, isn't he cute? Well, I guess it's just you and me, dancing embryo. Hallie McNeil, Mondays. Hey, Aunt Shannon, I just found a pork shoulder underneath that tree. Well, ain't you the lucky one? Here at Aunt Shannon's Meat Pickers Farm, we grow only the freshest kinds of meat. Hey, Aunt Shannon, I just pulled this leg of lamb out of the dead pile. It's still got wool on it and everything. Looks like someone's getting a new pair of mittens and a full belly. Bring the family and spend the day. Aunt Shannon, I'm going to pick my dinner right out of the cow tank. Which one you going to eat? That one over there with the big rubber band around his horns. He's a big one. Come on down to Aunt Shannon's Meat Pickers Farm right next door to the Agrichem Lab. I hope to meet you soon. Bring nature to your bathroom with twigs and leaves. Very natural toilet paper made of twigs and leaves. It's not post-consumer content. It's not recycled paper. It's not even paper. It's just twigs and leaves. We collect from the forests of America. Back in the natural days, before there were real bathrooms, before there was toilet paper, they used twigs and leaves. Take up a sack today, now with 50% fewer thorns, not for use with actual plumbing systems. So you think you know sous chef? You and your other yuppie spoon friends think you know sous chef? Well, you don't know sous chef at all, not a wee bloody bit. Oh, oh, you can sit in your fancy $70 a plate sushi cafes and impress your other human scabby friends and order California roll and think you're the sheep's wool. Well, you're nothing. You're sous chef juniors and you make me sick. So from now on, you order sushi the real way, the proper way. You get McLeod sushi or you don't eat it at all. McLeod's only uses real haggis. None of this simpy wimpy fish snot. We only use haggis. Good Scottish men's haggis. And if you know it's good for you, you'll eat it too. So stop being a baby doll freak loser and leave that hair mousse alone because you're eating McLeod sushi from now on. I thought about how hard it must have been for him to walk across the gym and ask me to dance. But when I looked down at my bracelet, I thought, what would Satan do? Satan. So I said no and set fire to the gym. <laughs> Tonight on the Nature Channel, don't miss part two of the critically acclaimed documentary, Ducks. Part two of Ducks, tonight at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, only on the Nature Channel. You've seen the award-winning TV show.